Hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. It's a pleasure. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. It's a pleasure to see you tonight. We're going to start in a moment, right? In a moment. Let me take some something here. Okay, here we are, right? Okay, I see some, some of you on the screen. I see Andres, Cristina, Edwin Esaú. It's a pleasure. Welcome. Jose Enrique, Victor Alejandro, welcome. Welcome to the class. Okay, let me see something here. Okay, we'll start in a moment. Give me some seconds. Excuse me? Ah, Saúl estaba ahí saludando. Ah, okay. Very good, Andrés. You were in basic uh, one, Andres. You and Esa, you and Esaú in basic one. No. Um, no. Yes. No. No. Oh, only friends. <laughs> only friends. Yeah. You work yes. in the same company, right? Okay. In English, you say co-workers. Co-workers. Okay. So let's begin. Uh, my name is Javier Gomez. I'm going to be your teacher. And to begin, I will show you a presentation of, of PowerPoint, right? To introduce the course. Okay. Okay, can you see my screen? Can you see? Yes. Yes, okay, very good, excellent. Now, welcome to Programa Nacional de Inglés para el Trabajo, right, English for Work. And this is uh, online uh, version, right? The course is basic two. And we're going to develop this course from April 19th to May 18th, right? Today is April 8, 19th, and next month we're going to start in May 18th, right? We're finished. Uh, this is me, Teacher Javier Gomez, right? I study in English in the University of El Salvador. I'm also a lawyer, right? Uh, I have worked for Didáctica para la, para la Planificación, I'm sorry. <laughs> Spanish is difficult for me, eh? <laughs> okay, didáctica para la planificación del idioma inglés in, in Safor, right? And other courses, I have many courses, but these are some preparing students for international communication from the Cambridge University. And how to develop your own teaching material, how to develop your material from INITCA, right? Uh, my... Uh, Experience is uh, Regal International, is English Corporativo, right? MINED, Ministerio de Educación, right? ITCA, HEM International Business School, Capucón, UCA, etc., etc., many places, right? Colegio San Francisco, Colegio La Matepe, Colegio Santinés, etc., etc., right? Okay, I have this experience. So, it's a pleasure. Then uh, we're going to have this uh, material, I will say, in, in Spanish, because this is in Spanish, right? Tareas y evaluaciones, right? Es necesario obtener el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones, right? Para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente. 80%, ok? Las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma justo después de cada clase. So after we finish the class, you can check this in the platform. And we're going to see in a moment, right? 
we are going to see the platform in a moment. It says, todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes de cada viernes a la medianoche. Every Friday, right? The normal is that you finish one class and you go to the platform and, and you finish one task of the day, right? Al terminar cada clase, lo ideal es que vayan a la plataforma y ahí terminen eh, la tarea del día. For example, today is class number one, right? Ahora estamos con la clase uno y al terminar la clase, pues pueden ir a la plataforma y, y hacer la tarea. Ya vamos a ver, ya les voy a enseñar cómo hacer, ok. Uh, la fecha límite para terminar el examen medio, o en inglés es midterm test, right? Is, uh, es, será el miércoles 3 de mayo, día de la cruz. Ahí con todo y fruta, ¿verdad? <ríe> Vamos a estar haciendo el examen. Uh, ok, la fecha límite para terminar el examen final, right? The final test or the final exam is eh, jueves 18 de mayo, right? It's the last day of class, right? Ese es el último día de clase, entonces... Uh, en esa fecha, pues vamos a hacer el examen final. So we have two tests. Dos exámenes, eh, midterm and final test, y las tareas en la plataforma, right? El manual puede ser descargado de la plataforma por medio del correo que les ha enviado a uh, inglés corporativo. Acceden a la plataforma y ahí dice manual. También ya se lo voy a mostrar si ustedes quieren uh, para que lo vean y lo descarguen. Si tienen posibilidades, pues lo ideal sería que lo imprimieran para estar trabajando en clase, ¿verdad? No se utiliza material de terceros en ninguna sesión, es decir, no hay otro libro. No es necesario que usen otro libro, solo el manual y las la clases y la plataforma, ¿ok? Good. ¿Qué se necesita? El, el nombre completo. ¿Verdad? Sí, tenen, tengo a Víctor Alejandro Ávila Hernández, excelente, ¿ok? Edwin Esaú Galdames Calderón, así me, me gusta, ¿verdad? Nombre completo, excelente. Además de eso, pues, en el caso de que alguno de ustedes sea oyente, pues, pone la palabra oyente. Cámara encendida toda la clase, ¿verdad? A menos que haya un problema, pues, ahí ustedes me avisan si... Uh, tienen un problema con la cámara, pero obviamente la siguiente clase o oh, en un momento se puede solventar. Minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible, siempre tener el micrófono apagado. Yo tengo la opción de silenciar los, los micrófonos, pero si ustedes me ayudan, pues vamos a hacer la clase más dinámica. Que a veces hay interferencia en algunos micrófonos o anda el señor del pan a esta hora vendiendo, pues <ríe> ahí sale en el micrófono, ¿verdad? Ok. Asistencia al 100% de las clases, ¿verdad? Eh, el teacher Javier Gómez, pues, no da permiso, no, aunque yo quisiera, no, no estoy autorizado, ¿verdad? Así que eh, no puedo darles permiso. Siempre que hay alguna situación de emergencia, hospital o, no sé, algo de extremada emergencia, pues, a, se lo comunican a inglés corporativo, mediante email o WhatsApp, ¿verdad? La asistencia no solamente se toma al estar presente, sino también a cumplir con la clase completa, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, Andrés, en Andrés is, is in, with the neighbor, right? Anda visitando al vecino en ese momento, Andrés. Sí, entonces es participación activa, sí. Esta clase va a ser muy, muy activa, ¿verdad? Este, van a, a pesar de ser clase virtual, pues... Voy a estarlo llamando a cada ratito, ¿verdad? Andrés, Víctor, Edwin, ok. Very good. Uh, la asistencia la vamos a tomar en tres ocasiones. A las ocho de la mañana, de la mañana, de la noche, perdón. Uh, debo pasar unos cinco, siete minutos lo más por aquellos que van corriendo y pues a último momento encienden su cámara, pues les doy unos minutitos antes de pasar la asistencia. Luego a las nueve y por último a las nueve y cincuenta y cinco. Ok, cinco minutos a las ocho, pues vamos a estar pasando la asistencia. Y ya, hay que estar ahí presente las, las tres veces, ¿verdad? Uh, ya los voy a ir llamando uno por uno y pues ustedes me van diciendo el nombre de pila que les gusta que le digan, ¿verdad? Uh, como en este caso, pues tengo dos Jennifer, tengo uh, dos Oscar. Pues ahí nos vamos a arreglar, ¿verdad? A ver qué nombres les gustan. Tengo dos Edwins, <ríe> pues... 
Ahí no sé si a Edwin le gusta que le digan Osvaldo o, o a Edwin Esaú quiere que le digan Esaú. Bueno, ahí vamos a ir arreglando, ¿ok? Y vamos a tomar la asistencia lo más rápido posible. ¿Ok? Uh, repito, no puedo dar permisos, aunque yo quisiera, no estoy autorizado, el teacher no está autorizado para dar permisos, ni para entrar tarde, ni para salir temprano, ni para inasistencia, ¿verdad? Y pues, se van a entender con eh, inglés corporativo, porque es uno de los requisitos de INSAFOR, que ustedes estén presentes en todas las clases. Uh, ustedes pueden decir present, o en español si quieren presente, right? O here I am, o yes teacher, y da algo una señal, pues ya eh, yo voy a tomar en cuenta eso como asistencia. Además de eso, al finalizar la clase nos vamos a quedar en sesiones de uno a uno, una clase privada de diez minutos, ¿verdad? Este, por ejemplo, esta noche me voy a quedar, me voy a quedar con Carlos Josué Portillo, después de la clase, pues nos vamos a quedar diez minutos. Si hay alguna emergencia y no podría, pues Carlos Josué me quedaría con Cindy Lisbeth y así, ¿verdad? Este, uh, eso es para disipar alguna duda que le haya quedado la clase o practicar nuestro inglés. Yes, let's practice. Si hay dudas, pues yo ahí voy a estar en una clase personal, cada uno. Y pues ya ven aquí, pues lo que dice Insafor, permisos no disponibles. Así que, obviamente, pues alguna emergencia, algún accidente, algún choque o algo, pues Especialmente si pasan por los chorros, <ríe> que a cada rato hay accidentes, pues, verdad, sería una excepción, pero normalmente, pues, no, no hay permisos. Si hay alguna situación, repito, pues, tendrá que ser con, eh, directamente con inglés corporativo. Ok, um, no sé si hay alguna pregunta antes de que comencemos ya la clase. You can speak Spanish for the moment, right? Les voy a dar la última oportunidad de hablar español. De ahí en adelante es only English. <laughs> questions? No questions. No questions. No questions. Cristina? No question. eh, Yvonne, no questions? No. Ok. Excellent. No y questions. No questions. Later, if you have more questions, right? Más tarde, si hay preguntas, pues ahí voy a estar. Ok. Uh, tengo a Jennifer Rivas y Mario González. Si me hacen el favor de encender su camarita, por favor. ¿Ok? Para conocernos, especialmente este primer día de clase. ¿verdad? ¿Ok? Good. That's it. That is the presentation. Right? ¿Ok? Now, let's go to the, the, the regular presentation. Right? Let's go to the regular presentation. Ok. Give me a second here. I have a problem. Give me a second. Por aquí tengo un problemita con la anterior presentación. Vamos a cerrarla. Ahí estamos. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Give me a second, please. Give me a second. Vamos a abrir el documento porque lo cerramos totalmente. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, basic two, presentation one here. It's opening, it's opening. Okay. Good. Now we're ready. Hoy sí estamos listos. Okay, here we are, right? Can you see the screen? Can you see? Yes? Okay. So basic module two, right? Uh, the topic for tonight is simple present statements. So we are going to review the simple present. In basic one, you check the simple present, right? So in basic two, in this level with teacher Javier Gomez, you will continue 
with this uh, topic, the simple percentage, the simple present, right, statements. And today is the class number one, April 19th, 2023, right? My name is Javier Gomez. I say I am your teacher, right? Any communication we can make in this class or we can check in the WhatsApp group, right? In the WhatsApp. Any information you need, communication in the WhatsApp, please. So let's start. Uh, this is some classroom language we use. Uh, for example, we say, excuse me, can you repeat that? If you don't understand, okay, if I say, deoxyribonucleic acid, oh, excuse me, teacher, can you repeat that, please? Can you repeat that, right? How do you spell? Spelling is when you say letter by letter, for example, English or English, right? Oh, no, no, this one, classroom, classroom is C L A. S S R O O M classroom, right? How do you spell classroom? So you use the alphabet, right? And if the teacher is speaking very fast, very fast, so it's a hey, teacher. Can you speak more slowly? Can you speak more slowly? Okay. Give me a second. I will use the the power laser here. Okay, good. Here, right? Can you speak more slowly? Good. And, and when you don't understand something, you say, teacher, what does what does a door mean? What does a cat mean? What does um, a language mean, right? So you're going to use this. Then pronunciation. How do you pronounce this? Language? Mm -mm. Language. Language, right? So pronunciation. And finally, how do you say, how do you say pupitre in English? Desk. How do you say lentes in English? Glasses, glasses, right? Or the opposite. How do you say, um, how do you say teacher in Spanish? Professor, maestro, right? Teacher is in Spanish. Okay, so these are... Uh, the language we're going to use in, in this class, okay? Now, here we have the introduction, right? You can say, for example, a hi, hello, what's up? And then you say, good evening. My name is, and then I, I will give the example. Right? My name is Javier Gomez. I live in Mexicanos. I work in Inglés Corporativo. And I like, ooh, I like many things. I like football. I like Barcelona, of course. Uh, I like pupusas. I like English. Okay, understand? Good. Now we're going to start one by one, right? Let's start with uh, Carlos Josué. Hello, Carlos Josué. Welcome, Carlos. No, okay. Good. Now, Cindy Lisbeth Mendez. Hello, my Hello, name Ali. is my name is Cindy Mendez. I live in Planes Nerendero. I work in Santa Elena. I live um, Chicken. Chicken. Pio Pio. Okay. <laughs> Especially Campero chicken, right, Cindy? Huh? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> of course, right? Very good. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Cindy, right? Okay. And, and Cindy works in Sipsa, SASB, right, Cindy? Yes. Yes. Okie dokie. We are going to learn about SIPSA uh, later, right? Now we're going to continue with Cristina. Cristina Beatriz. Hello, Cristina. Hello, good Hello. evening. Good evening. My name is Cristina Rivera. Mm -hmm. I live in Armenia City. Are you living in Armenia? I work. Okay. 
In, in yes. Armenia, they're making a, a roundabout, right? Un redondel, right? Yes, it's true. They are making a redondel. Um, no. No. No, no. Oh, sorry. I, I, I heard that no. road to Sonsonate, right? Next to Armenia, we have this uh -huh. roundabout. It's Sacacoyo. Sacacoyo. Oh. Sacacoyo. Sacacoyo uh -huh. is... Or Tepecoyo. Is... <laughs> Tepecoyo. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> funny. <laughs> but it's close or it's far, Cristina? Close or far Perdón? from Armenia? Sacacoyo is close or far from Armenia? Close or mm. far? Far. Far. Oh, okay. Sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> Continue, right? <laughs> so in Armenia, Armenia. I work in? I work in Banco Atlántida. <laughs> Excuse me, can you repeat, Cristina? I like pupusas. Pupu oh, Dios mío, yes. Salvadorian, right? All Salvadorian. And yeah. what are your favorite, uh, Cristina? Cheese, meats, I mean, revuelta, the queso, right? Beans. Uh, mix. Mix, okay. Mix pupusas, right? Revueltas, <laughs> mix pupusas. Mix pupusas. Very good. Thank you, Cristina, and welcome. Welcome to the class. Okay, Dennis Joshua. Denis, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, what do you prefer, Denis, Denis or Joshua? Uh, Joshua. Joshua, okay. Joshua. Okay, Joshua. Make the introduction, please. Okay, my name is Joshua. I, li I live in San Salvador. I work in uh, Panko Abank. I like pizza. Pizza, delicious, right? Papa John's is my favorite. What is your favorite, Joshua? Uh, I, what do you see? I go pizza. Ah, you mm -hmm. make pizza? Oh, yes. Excellent. You have a business, Joshua? Yes. Oh, excellent. So we're in San Salvador. We can buy Joshua's pizzas. <laughs> where? Uh, is for uh, for uh, entre 49 Avenida Sur y Boulevard Venezuela. Boulevard Venezuela, okay, in, 40, in la 49. Ah, okay. Next to the to the bridge, right? Cerca del puentecito, you know? Yes. Yes, near. Okay. For this uh, cementerio La Bermeja. Ah, yes, I know. Okay, so someday we're going to go there with my family, Joshua, and we want to check this pizza. We're going to Steve. With my yeah, family. Do... Okay. Uh, I understand. I understand. Okay. Someday. I promise. Right. Someday I will visit you. <laughs> okay. To try Joshua's pizza. Right. Okay. Thank you, Joshua. And welcome yeah, to the class. Like... Yes. Okay. Good. Thank you. Excellent. <laughs> okay. Now, please. Edwin Thanks. Esaú. Edwin Esaú. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello, Edwin. Uh, what do you prefer, Edwin or Esaú? Esaú. Esaú, okay, okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I see there is the family. <laughs> don't worry, <laughs> don't worry, Esaú, it's normal. Yeah. My son. <laughs> That's your son? Oh, good. Yes. <laughs> yes. So my recommendation, Esaú, is that sometimes if you can take your, your, your son to the class, to this class, no problem. He can listen. No problem. Okay. And uh, I have a friend. Uh, to talk to the children sometimes. <laughs> His name is Dudley, right? Uh, hello, hello. Okay. When you have so when you have your son there, so I will I will ask Dudley to help in my class, right? Okay. okay. Let's begin. So, so begin, please. Okay. Uh, good evening, class classmate. Uh, my name is Edwin Esau. I live in Santa Ana, Santa Ana department. Oh. I work in Almacenes Tropigas. I like tacos in okay. Mexico. <laughs> uh, sorry, uh, Tropigas is the same Unicomer, uh, Esau? No. Yes, yes, ah. Unicomer. Okay, good, excellent. 
Yes, because I in my paper I see Esaú is in Unicoma, right? But you say Estropigas. Ah, venta de electrodomésticos. Ah, I understand. I understand. <laughs> okay, good. So thank okay. you, Esaú, and welcome to the class. Thank okay, you. Okay, now, anytime. Edwin Osvaldo? Hello, Edwin Osvaldo? Okay, no. Elizabeth del Carmen? Elizabeth? Okay, no. Okay, Hill Yvonne? Here. Okay, what do you Hi. prefer? Uh, Hill or Yvonne? Um, Jill. Jill, oh, Jill, excuse me, Jill. Jill. Nice. It sounds, it sounds very elegant. Okay. Yes, Jill. Thanks. I, I like it, I like it, yes. <laughs> okay. And, and your your camera is not working, Hill. Jill, sorry, Jill. Eh, le comento, tengo uh -huh. dos dispositivos mm. eh, conectados porque en uno tengo la cámara y en el otro tengo el audio. Ah, okay. I understand, Jill, I understand. So let me look okay. for the camera. Ah, okay, yes, I, I found it. Ya, ya la encontramos. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, Jill. Okay. Please, make the uh, introduction. Thanks. Hello, good evening. My name is Jill Mejiva. I live in Soyapango. Uh, I work in Indy Motos with a Hero Motorcycle. Mm -hmm. I like cooking and drive motorcycle. Ah, what? You drive motorcycle, <laughs> Jill? My goodness. Yeah. Well, <laughs> In Soyapango, especially, right, it's necessary motorcycle because of the traffic. Yes. And and I work in so <laughs> uh, Jill, I work in Soyapango too. I work in a school. Centro Escolar Antonio Jose Cañas is the name of the of the school in Soyapango. So I live in Mexicanos and I work in Soyapango, you know. <laughs> yes. Oh, so, okay. And Soyapango is very complicated okay. for Jose, the uh, Yes. Jill, very much. <laughs> you say that you like you like to cook, right, Jill? What is your specialty when you cook? Um, tacos, pizza, uh, grabs. Uh, okay, listen. As I always listen when you, when you say when you say when you say, when you say, when you say tacos. Pizza. It's always uh, making like this, right? Mm, yummy, yummy. <laughs> when, when you say tacos, tacos, right? When you say tacos, <laughs> it's always say, mm, yummy, yummy. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Jill. It's a pleasure. Welcome, welcome to the class. Okay, Henry Giovanni. Thanks. You're welcome. Henry Giovanni Good Rivas. Evening. Good evening. Sure. Hello, welcome. Hey, Henry, what do you like, uh, Henry or Giovanni? Giovanni. Giovanni. Okay, very good. Yes. Give me a second, Giovanni. But let me check the camera. Uh, no, aquí está. And uh, su camera, Henry, uh, I mean, Giovanni, sorry. Your camera, um, Giovanni. So, solo deme un chancecito, teacher, que okay. voy llegando y, y... Ah, ok, no problem. Wait, wait, no problem. Listen, listen, Giovanni, if you want, sit down, drink water, relax, right, for a moment, and later you make your presentation, right? Después okay. me hace la presentación. Tranquilo, ok, tranquilo. Ok, okay now, Jennifer Beatriz, anytime. Jennifer Beat Beatriz. Hello. Hello, hello, Jennifer, Good welcome. Evening. Good evening. Thank hey, you. What, what do you prefer, Jennifer or Beatriz? Jennifer. Jennifer. But if you need just to, to tell me Beatriz, it doesn't come. Okay, I will, I, I will call you Jennifer, right? Jennifer, yes? Okay. Yes, okay. thank you, thank you. Good. Okay. Jennifer, please make the, make the introduction, please. Of course. Hello, good evening. My name is Jennifer Mejia. I live in San Marcos. I work in Televisores Argueta or Electronica Japonesa. 
I like to cook and spend time with my little boy. Oh, you have a boy. How old is he? Yes. How old uh, is he? two years boy? old. Two years old. Oh, two years. Baby. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. And Thank what's you. his name? What's his name? Tiago Andre. Ah, oh. Tiago Andre. I like it. Yes. <laughs> so Tiago is going to be a, a soccer player in the future, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no, you don't like I, I, I hope basketball player. Ah, basketball. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's it. Thank you, Jennifer, and welcome to the class. Good. Now, uh, next Thank is you. anytime. Okay. Jennifer Guadalupe. Jennifer Guadalupe. Okay. Eh, Jorge Alberto. Hi, Peter. Hi. Uh... Ah, Jennifer Guadalupe. Excuse me? Hey, yes, yes, yes. Okay, good, good. Uh, yes, like Peter. Jennifer o Guadalupe? What do you uh, prefer? Jennifer. Jennifer. Oh, okay. Very good. So, Jennifer Beatriz, I'm sorry. I will change. Uh, so, I will call you Beatriz. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. No problem. Very good. Beatriz and Jennifer. Right? <laughs> okay, Jennifer. Welcome to the class. Jennifer uh, Rivas, right? Okay. Uh, please make the introduction, please. Okay. Uh, hi, good evening. My name is Jennifer Rivas. I am live in Comasagua La Libertad. I work in uh, Santa Elena. I am live uh, pizza. Pizza. Okay. We have uh, my recommendation, uh, Jennifer Joshua's Pizza. That's the recommendation uh, for tonight. It's a special <laughs> pizza. <laughs> Two by one, while Joshua. Al dos por uno, right? <laughs> no, no. Okay. Tres okay. por uno, por favor. Oh, oh listen. Three, <laughs> no two, it's three. <laughs> okay, very good, uh, Jennifer, and welcome to the class. Sorry, in Comasagua, you don't have problem with the internet. Jennifer, no problem with uh, the internet. Uh, yes. Sometimes, Yes, right? teacher, she has to work. Listen, uh, uh, Jennifer, sometimes when I go to the beach, I go from La Libertad to Comasagua, right? And no yes, internet. No, when, when I when when my telephone, right? With my telephone, no internet. I say, my goodness. Huh? So it's because Comasagua, Comasagua is beautiful, by the way, right? It's beautiful. And sí, um, sí. yes, and but the internet sometimes is, is a problem, right? Okay, no thank problem. you. Welcome. Now uh, Jorge Alberto Laines. Hi, teacher. Hey, hello. Welcome, Jorge, right? Hello, teacher. Welcome, Jorge. Yeah. Tell me, please, your introduction, uh, Jorge. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, hello, good evening, teacher and um, partner. My name, my name is George Albert. I live in Rosario, La Paz. I work in, in the Marsa. I like chicken and pupusa. Pupusa, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, taquitos? No taquitos. No. Oh, no. No. Okay. <laughs> Only pizza. Pizza, you say ch no chicken and pupusa, right? Chicken and pupusa. Okay, nice. Especially the camperito chicken, right? Okay. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jorge, it's a pleasure. Rosario is next to what? Is San Pedro is next to Santiago Texacuangos. Where exactly? No, no. Rosario La Paz. Rosario La Paz. Uh, ah, ok. Correct. Ajá. En Rosario La Paz is in Departamento de La Paz. No, no. Correct. Ah, oh, good. Eh, Rosario La Paz is next to San Pedro Mazahuat. San Pedro Mesa, Mazaguat, right? It's next to San Pedro Mazaguat. My family is originally... La Paz is todo el departamento. I understand, but Rosario de La Paz Rosario. is 
Uh -huh. Rosario de la Paz. I, I, I know a place where my family is original, right? Mi familia, right? My family is originally from Santa Maria of Tuma in, in La Paz, right? So, oh. I don't know if it is close. To, no sé si está cerca. I don't know if it's close to Rosario de la Paz. But Más yes. o menos. Kind of, right? Kind of. Okay. okay. Thank you, Jorge. It's a pleasure. Okay, Giovanni, I see you are ready, right? Giovanni? Okay, teacher. Good. Hello. Good evening. My name is Giovanni. I live in El Congo, Santa Ana. Oh, okay. Fast, fast. To play. I, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I work in San Salvador in Enlace. Mm -hmm. Enlace, <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. uh -huh. I work in community sure. Mm -hmm. I like um pupusas, atole, and pizza. Pizza too, right? What about the chuco? You like you, you say you like the atole, right? The, the atole. The chuco atole. Uh, I, a little. <laughs> a little, right? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Well, a little. Yeah. Uh, one characteristic of the chuco is that in, in Santa Ana is salty, right? Salado, huh? Salty. But in San Miguel is is is, is sweet, you know? It's yeah. dulce, right? It's yeah. The, the different. <laughs> well, in San Salvo, like, I like, so, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Giovanni? Uh huh. Uh, no sé cómo se dice, pero también es. La característica del chuco de San Miguel, ácido. Ácido. Es so, so, sour, sorry, sour, ácido, sour. Mm -hmm. Yes, it, it's, it's different, right? And also, I don't know if, if someone in this class is here and is from San Miguel, but in San Miguel, they put some ketchup in the, in the pupusa, right? Mm -hmm. It's the costume. Yeah. Okay, let's yeah. continue. Thank you. Thank you very much, Giovanni. It's a pleasure. Now, please, José Enrique. Hey, hello, hello, Jose Enrique. Uh, hey. What do you prefer, Jose Enrique or Jose Enrique? Uh, okay, okay, okay. Enrique, I will say Enrique. Okay, come on. Come on, go ahead, Enrique. Uh, make the introduction. The introduction. Mm -hmm. Good evening, teacher and classmate. Uh, my name is Jose Enrique Mario Dominguez. I like in Planet de Roderos, I work in Pit Banco Bank. Uh, I like to eat a lot and I like to train. Uh, uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Sorry, uh, you say that you like to play. I, I didn't copy, right? No le copia bien lo último. Uh, you like what? Uh, I would like to eat. Ah, you like to eat. Whatever. Uh, eat. Chicken, meat, uh, fruit, it's vegetable, it's whatever, it's right? Uh, pacayas. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. Everything, right, Enrique? Okay, very good. Nice. Good. Now, Juan Eduardo. Hello, Juan Eduardo. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Welcome. Good night, everybody. Okay, good evening. Welcome to the class. Hey, uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Eduardo Flores. I like you say Eduardo. Okay. Uh, my, uh, I live in San Estalpa, near to the airport. I work in Galvaniza, near to my house, at 7 or 10 minutes. Oh, and I like nice. play soccer. And I like... Mm. Go to the stadium every every Sunday. Ah, good. Uh, so La Paz is. Yes, uh... La Paz, Antonio uh -huh. Toledo Valle. Sorry, Platense. Platense, yes, Platense is Zacate from Zacatecoluca, La Paz, right? Yes, Platense. Right. I was born in Zacatecoluca. You were born in Zacatecoluca, and now you live in yes. San Luis Talpa. San Luis Talpa yes. is next to the beach, right, Eduardo? Yes. Uh, next to the beach. 10 or 5 minutes. No. 10, 10 or, or 15 five... minutes. 
Oh, nice. So you only take a bicycle, right? And then you go to the beach. <laughs> nice. Okay. Yes. Excellent. You, you have as, as, mm -hmm. uh, 15 minutes. 15 minutes, right? It's very close. It's very close. Nice. So when 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 you have vacation, well, in my case, I have to travel. Mexicanos to San Luis Talpa, right? Very far. But you only 15 minutes, right? Nice. Thank you, Eduardo, and welcome to the class. Okay, Luis Alejandro. Okay. Thank you. Luis, Luis Alejandro. Hi. Hi, welcome. Thanks. What do you prefer? Alejandro, right? Yeah. Okie dokie. Come on, Alejandro, make the introduction. Okay. Hello, evening. No. No. Alejandro, good evening is a hello, right? So you can say hello, hi, or good evening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, hello, good evening. My name is Alejandro Mount. So yeah. I work in bank. I like listen to music. Uh huh. Very good. Alejandro, what is your favorite kind of music? Rock, Spanish. My favorite salsa. kind of music is rock. Um, a little bit heavy metal. He oh, excuse me, heavy metal. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> El rockero, Alejandro es rockero, nice. No reggaetonero, right? No. No, no, no. Okay. This is devil. <laughs> okay. Very good. Nice. Okay, thank you very much, Alejandro. Welcome. So, Manuel Eduardo. Okay. Okay, thank you, Alejandro. Thank you. Manuel Eduardo. Okay, Mario Germán. Germán, o. Oh. Yes, Herman, right? Mario? Hello, hello, Mario? No, okay. Eh, no, Man Manuel Eduardo, ¿es es Manuel Eduardo? Hello, hello. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Excuse me. I have a problem with my internet because in, in here in Mexicanos it's going to rain, right? Como que va a llover. So it's problem with the internet. So every time I have a problem with my internet, you wait, please. Cada vez que se me vaya el internet, pues me hacen el favorazo de esperarme, que tengan por seguridad que voy a reconectarme a la clase. Okay. Let's continue. Let's continue with the class. Okay, I was called, give me a second. Ah, okay, here, right? I was calling uh, Manuel Eduardo, right? Manuel Eduardo, are you there? No, okay. Mario Herman? Mario? No. Okay, Oscar Andres? Hello. No. Uh, good evening. Mario. My name is Mario Gonzalez. Ah, hello, Mario. Sí. Excuse me. Hello. Uh, Mario, you have problem with the camera? No. Uh, sí, de hecho es que eh, tengo el 1% de ah, la no, se me puede apagar. Yeah, no problem. Sí, no si problem. So, but creo que tomorrow el cargador. You, yeah, no, no problem. Relax, man, relax, no problem. So tomorrow you can connect the camera, no problem. Okay, please okay. make the introduction, please. Um, hello, good evening. Good, good evening. Mario González. Uh, I live in San Salvador. I work in uh, Burgos y Asociados. I like to play guitar oh. in my free time. Your free time. That's it. Okay, nice. So you're a music man, Mario. Very good. Excellent. Congratulations for your ability. Okay, and welcome to the class. Now, please, uh, Oscar Andres. Oscar Andrés. Hello, hello, Me escucho. Hello. You can hear ¿Se escucha me? bien? Yes, yes, yes. I, we can hear you. Lo podemos okay, escuchar. Es que, como, es que está lloviendo por eso. Ah, ok. I understand. 
Okay. Yeah, but uh, we can uh, hear. Hello. Lo escuchamos bien. Yeah, we can listen. Yeah. Okay. Hello, good evening, teacher, classmates. Uh, my name is Oscar Andres Hernandez Mendoza. I live in San Salvador. The department is San Salvador, Milopango. Oh, okay. Uh, I work in Banco Aban. I like is listening to music. I like is soccer. I like is mango. Okay. Mango twist. Yeah, yes. <laughs> nice. El cholo del grandote. I ah, imagine. I, the name mango. <laughs> mango paladez or panadez, something like that. Yo lo, con, yo lo conozco como mango de oro, algo así. Ah, okay. Un uh, grandote, así. Yeah, I imagine. Uh, listen, Andres, when long time ago, right? When I was a child, right? Ooh. Cuando era niño, right? I remember ah, okay. in, in, in a farm, había una finca, right? Next to my house. And, and yes. we used to bring some mangoes that they, we call mango mico because it was very ah, big. Sí. Yes. Very big, yes. right? Okay, Andres, so yes. you like mangoes, eh? <laughs> okay. Yes. Nice. Delicious. In your house, you have mangoes. In your house? What? Do you have mangoes in your house? Yes, one. Um, one mango, okay. So when you want to eat mango, you only go, oh, okay. <laughs> and you eat, right? Eh, sí, de hecho, ahí está, ahí está un, un árbol de mangos. Okay, very good. So uh -huh. maybe you can share, yeah. puede compartir, right? Uh, mango with the class, eh, Andres? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Okay, very good. And you you like football, you say, right? So you like to play or to practice? I mean, or to watch? Watch or uh, play? Plays. Plays. Oh, good. De, de hecho, soy, soy arquero. Oh, excuse me. Goalkeeper. You're a goalkeeper. Yes. Courtois. <laughs> no, tampoco. Ter, no llegamos ter, no ter a ter 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 <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Very good, Andres. Thank you very much. Now, Oscar Daniel. Hello, Oscar Daniel. Hi. Okay. So let's continue. Victor Alejandro. Victor. Hi, teacher. Hey, Hi. hello, Victor. Welcome. Hello. Uh, Victor is okay, right? Yes. Okay, Victor, come on, go, go, on. make the introduction, Victor. Okay. Hello. Good evening. My name is Victor Alejandro. I live in Lourdes, Colón. No, 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 wait, I'm wait. Working... wait. Uh, sorry. Victor, it's not Lourdes, Colón. It's Lourdes, Dollar. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> continue, okay. continue, continue. I work in Banco Bank. I like uh, tacos. Yumi, yumi. <laughs> okay, taquitos. In 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 Lourdes, Colón, you you there are many places, many restaurants, Victor, where you can buy the taquitos. Eh, pero no los hacen muy buenos que se digan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, and in my house, we uh, next to the hospital militar, uh, we have a. A taquería, right? The name is El, El Marañón here in San Salvador, right? El, delicious, okay. you know, delicious. I recommend that, right? Uh, next okay. to the Hospital Militar. If you visit San Salvador, right? So you, you will see this. My recommendation, okay? Thank okay. you, Victor, and welcome to the class. Now, Wilfredo Antonio. Hello, Wilfredo. Diez cuatro, diez cuatro. Wilfredo, Wilfredo. Hello, Wilfredo. No, okay. Very good. And Carlos Enrique. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good hey. evening, guys. It's a pleasure. What do you prefer, Carlos or, or Enrique? Me too. Uh, Carlos Enrique. Uh, both. That's right. Okay, good. Okay, very good. Carlos Enrique. My no. name is Carlos Enrique Guerrero Hernández. I nice. live in Santo Tomás, San Salvador. I work in a distributor sal. 
Y, eh, and I like enjoy with my family. Eh, I like practice mountain biking. Yeah, only. Only that, right? Oh, do you have children, Carlos Enrique? Yes, yes. How many eh, children do you have? Two, 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 two children. children. Boy, yeah. and, boy and girl, or boy, boy, or girl, girl? Boy and girl. Boy and girl. Yes, oh, nice. boy and girl. You have the couple. Nice. <laughs> Very good. Yes. In this class, Carlos Enrique, we have a space for the children. We accept children in the class if you want to. Someday you say, I want my children to practice, right? And for that purpose, I have Doodly. He's my friend Doodly, right? Okay. Okay, very good. So listen, because uh, children listen the English and they start learning very fast, right? Okay, yeah. class, very good. I will make a review to check uh, some students that are not in the class. Uh, Carlos Josue, Edwin Osvaldo, Elizabeth del Carmen. Uh, Jennifer, yes, right, perdón, aquí le había puesto a, a Jennifer que no estaba, pero sí, ya, ya hizo su presentación, Jennifer, ok. And Manuel Eduardo, Oscar Daniel, Wilfredo Antonio, ok, I hope tomorrow we have this, this student, right, espero que mañana pues sí puedan conectarse estos chicos. Uh, then the, the rest of you, so welcome again. Welcome to the class. It's a pleasure for me, right? Don't see me only like your teacher, but uh, consider me like your friend, right? Your friend in this class. I hope you enjoy it. And the communication can be for this class and for WhatsApp. Remember in WhatsApp, there is a group. I will send a video every day. Les voy a estar mandando un video todos los días, right? Uh, algunos que se conectaron ahora al grupo pues no han recibido los videos pero los que se conectaron desde, antes, desde la semana pasada pues uh, han estado viendo los videos que les he mandado right so to practice but this is extra practice ok now for the moment we are going to continue with the presentation for today I say today we are going to learn about the simple present right simple present ok now uh, Cindy please can you read uh, the objective for unit one World related events. Read, please. Able to. Able to, huh? Describe. I'm sorry. Uh, me dijo que leyera. La... Oh, please, please, yes. Okay. Unit one, World Relate Events. I will be able to describe regular activities in the workplace. Okay. Uh, por ahí está Duli saludando a la princesa, Cindy. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Doodly. <laughs> okay. Ah, two princes. Okay. Hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> e. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, very good. Qué linda la princesa. La felicito, Cindy. <laughs> okay, very Gracias. good. Gracias. Okay, now, describe regular activities in the workplace, right? What activities you do every day in your workplace? And here we have this question. Listen, what are the three first things you do on Mondays? Imagine you go to a, to a bank, you go to, uh, to uh, for example, let me see what are the companies here. You go to Constructores, you go to Unicomer, etc etc you go to your work every day right so what are three things you do let me see here we have a uh, christina please can you help me christina what are three first things three activities you do on monday
Que diga tres actividades. Ajá, uh -huh. yes. You do on Mondays, Mondays, right? For example, do you check the email? Do you do you check the reports? Do you turn on your computer? Do you have a meeting? Do you uh, visit other other offices for the company, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. So, three activities, Cristina. Yeah. Check emails. Mm -hmm. um, accounts money. Okay. Uh, atención a clientes. Uh, customer service. You make customer service, customer right? Customer service. Okay, nice. Thank you, Cristina. Now, Joshua, please. Uh, how many times a day do you check your email, Joshua? Um, uh, one, uh, one time, one time. Yes. Okay, it's not, not not that you all the day you are in the in the email, right? Only one time. Thank you, thank you. Very good. And check more uh -huh. WhatsApp. Ah, okay, good. For, thank you for the work. I understand. I understand. Good. Now, Esau, what about you? How many times do you check your email? Yes, uh, Monday. Um, Monday. I we have more morning meeting. Okay. Um, special payments for customer subscriptions. Okay. Subscriptions. Okay. And cyclical inventories. Inventories, you 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 make inventory, right? Inventories, nice. Yeah. So before yeah. to begin the 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 work day, right? The commencer el día, right? So you you have a meeting with the with all the people, yes. right? Nice. Yes. And and so you you are a boss, you are a manager. Second boss. Se oh, excuse me, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you, sir. No, yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> now. Let's continue, right? Now here we have this vocabulary, right? It says attend. Be present at an event or meeting. Take part in. For example, in this class, you take part of this class. So you attend the class. I have, for example, Jill, Giovanni, Beatriz, Carlos Enrique, Victor, Mario, etc., etc. You attend the class. Understand? You don't say, I assist. No, assist, no. It's attend the class. You are present. Present in this class, right? So that is attend. Organize. Organize is uh, make preparations for events or, or meetings. Here in this case, we, we're talking about, uh, as I was saying, that he prepares or he's in some meetings, reuniones, right? So when you organize, you are preparing this event, right? Oh, other word for organize is coordinate. Coordination is synonym, synonym of organize. Actually, is not actualmente. Mm -mm, no, 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 no. Actually is in effect. In effect, right? Oh, the fact is, la verdad es que, right? That is the meaning of actual. It's like we say uh, connector, connector, right? Es una palabra que nos ayuda a conectar una oración con actual. Good. I, for example, I say, um, I live in, in Mexicanos. Actually, I live in Sacamil. In effect, or, or la verdad es que, right? So I say, I live in, Mex in, in Sacamil. So. Okay. And it's raining, eh? It's raining here in Sacamil. Raining. So if I have problems with the internet, please, I beg your pardon. Si se me va el internet, pues les pido disculpas de, de, de antemano, pero... Ok, you know the... Raining hard. Yeah, I know, yeah. Uh -huh. eh, eh, Carlos Enrique, uh -huh. in, in your house is raining. In Santo Tomás is raining. Yes. Ah, ok. Yes, yes. So imagine in all San Salvador, it's raining. Carlos Enrique, I remember I used to go to play soccer in, in Santo Tomás. I, I like it. 
solía ir a jugar no, 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 no. no, no, me, me, me. In the past. ah, ok yes, me in the past. so that's why I know Santo Tomás por eso conozco Santo Tomás it's a nice place <laughs> ok, let's continue, right so, uh, this is a conversation listen, listen to the conversation, please Sofía says what do you do every Monday morning and Mario says I check my email and I call clients I call clients for the rest of the morning. What about you? And Sofia says, I have to read a weekly report and attend a meeting. I also organize meetings every two Mondays. How often do you check your email? Do you check it every day? And Mario says, yes, I do actually. I check it once once or twice a day once or twice a day great is very important it is very important okay class repeat after me please repeat after me what uh, uh, sorry in this case we're going to turn off the the microphone right vamos a apagar todos los micrófonos porque lamentablemente no no podemos escucharlos a todos verdad porque hay mucha interferencia si todos encendemos los micrófonos así que ni modo ahí Uh, voy a estar viendo por las cámaras que me estén repitiendo, ¿verdad? Si están tomándose un cafecito, repitan, luego un sorbito, luego repitan. <laughs> okay, now, repeat okay. after me, please. Repeat after me. What do you do? Uh, yes, excuse me. Uh, yes. Porque no hacemos el ejercicio de cuando nos reunimos en pareja de dos en dos. Oh, yeah, we can do that. No problem. Yes. In fact, it's one of the activities uh, I regularly do. Eh, normalmente esa es una de las actividades que hago, Andrés. Eh, los pongo a conversar, ¿no? Vamos, uh, si se fija, pues voy por el listado, voy llamándolos. La siguiente participante va a ser Jill. <ríe> y pues ya la vamos a poner a practicar en pareja, Jill, ¿verdad? Con, con Giovanni. Y así vamos a ir bien. Así que, okay. pero primero vamos a, a, a practicar la pronunciación para que a ustedes no les cueste, ¿ok? Good. Now, repeat after me, please. I check my email and I call clients for the rest of the morning. I check my email and I call clients for the rest of the morning. What about you? About, about. What about you? What about you? In, 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 a, in a good Salvadoran, right? Buen Salvadoreño, Ivonne. Okay. <laughs> what about Ivonne? <laughs> okay, now repeat after me, please. I have to read. I have to read a weekly report. And attend a meeting. Attend weekly, weekly. Attend. I also have to organize meetings. Organize. I also have to organize meetings every two Mondays. How often do you check your email? How often do you check your email? Do you check it every day? Check it. Check it. Do you check it every day? Yes. Please don't say yes, yes. No, no, yes, no. It's yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, I do actually, 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 I do actually, I check it once or twice a day, I check it once or twice a day, twice, once. Great. 
it is very important. Okay, class, now we have a couple to practice this. Uh, I have Jill. Jill, you're, you're going to be Sofia, right? And Giovanni, you're going to okay. be Mario. Okay, wait a, wait a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, directly from Hollywood, California, we have Jill and Giovanni. Action, <laughs> action. Okay. What do you do every mo Monday morning? I check my email and I call clients for the rest of the morning. What about, what about you? I have to read a weekly report and attend a meeting. I also have to organize meetings every two Monday. How often do you check your email? Do you check it every day? Yes, I do actually <laughs> check check it once or twice a day. Great, it is very important. <laughs> very good, good participation, right? And remember, uh, this is a question. <laughs> do you check it every day? Like, oh, no, 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 no. Do you check it every day? Uh -huh. And here, look, uh, Giovanni, clients. Say, please, clients. Clients, okay, very good. Thank you. Now, two more volunteers to practice the conversation. I'm going to have uh, Beatriz and Jennifer. <laughs> Beatriz, you are Sofia, and Jennifer, you are Mario, right? Ready? Wait, give me a second, right? One, two, three, action. Ah, oh, excuse me. Give me a second, sorry. Eh, Beatriz and Jennifer, give me a second. Eh, perdonen un segundito. Voy a interrumpir la participación porque voy a pasar la, la asistencia. Yes. Ok, sorry, sorry. Uh, Carlos Josué. Cindy. Present. Thank you. Cristina. Cristina, Joshua, here teacher. Thank you, Esaú. I'm here teacher. Good, Edwin Osvaldo. Elizabeth del Carmen. Jill. Here teacher. Giovanni. Present teacher. Thank you, Beatriz. Present. Jennifer. Present teacher. Thank you, Jorge. Here teacher. Thank you, Enrique. Here teacher. Very good, Eduardo. Mr. Flores Aguilar. Here, teacher. Okay, okay. okay. Eh, Alejandro. Alejandro. Okay. Uh, Manuel Eduardo. Mario. Teacher, no sé si ya me mencionó a mí. Ah, eh, Pero... Yes, Cristi. Ahorita le vamos a poner la asistencia. Wait, wait a minute. Ya está. Sí, okay. Mario González. Mario, yes, yeah, thank you, Mario. Thank you very much. Nice. Eh, Andrés. Hi, teacher. Thank you. Oscar Daniel. Víctor. Here, teacher. Thank you, Wilfredo. Carlos Enrique. Present, teacher. Thank you very much. Okay, now let's continue, right? Uh, Beatriz and Jennifer, again, please. Beatriz, you are Sofia and Jennifer Mario, right? Again, okay. ready? One, two, three, action. What do you do every Monday morning? Fred, check. I email a call client. Three days of free morning. What I bought you? 
I have to read a weekly report and attend a meeting. I also have to organize meetings every two Mondays. How often do you check your email? Do you check it every day? Yes, do you actually check it or rise a day? Wait, it's very important. Thank you very much, nice. Okay, Jennifer, please repeat after me, Jennifer. Only you, come on, clients. Repeat, please, client. Client. Once, that means una once. vez, right? Una vez, once, twice. Once, twice. 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 Okay, once, very good. Twice. Once, once. Once, mm -hmm. twice. Twice, excellent. Excellent also, Jennifer. <laughs> okay, let's continue, right? Now, we're going to check the... We're going to check the, the grammar, right? Okay, very good, here. Good. The simple present, right? We're going to introduce this topic. And it says, it's one of the several forms of present tense in English, right? Es una de las muchas formas para describir el presente. Hay, hay otras formas también, como el presente continuo, presente perfecto, etc. The simple present tense is simple, very simple. Just use the base form, right? Of the verb. Solo usamos la base del verbo and we say, I take, you take, we take, they take. The third person singular, he, he, and it, uses an S at the end of the verb, right? So you don't say he take. No, he said he takes. She takes. Virulize takes. Misifus takes. <laughs> third person singular, right? Third person, tercera persona singular. Okay? So it's simple. The subject, the verb, and the complement. Mm? But if this third person singular, si es tercera persona singular, we're going to add an S. So le vamos a agregar una S, right? Understand? Questions? Questions? Okay. And we use the simple present to talk about habits, routines. The routines you do in your job. For example, check the email. Esaú says that every Monday they have a meeting, right? It's a, it's a, a habit, un hábito que tienen en su trabajo, right? Every Monday a, a meeting. Or oh, this is repeated events, repetition of events, right? And also general truth, verdades generales, right? Okay. This is the purpose, this is the use of the simple present, right? Here we have the example. Look, the subject is I, the verb is attend, and the complement is meetings every Monday. Ah, look, this is Esaú speaking because <laughs> attend meeting, right? So attend means assistir, attend, right? Good. But also... Uh, the verb make, notice that we don't say she make, no, we say she makes. So in other words, we add an S. We add an S to the verb, right? Okay. Let me show you, right? Here, we add an S to the verb. So we say she makes. She and you put in the last, and you put in the last construction. Of course, of course, in this moment, in this moment. Give me a second here. Okay, very good. Here, right? Subject, there, and complement. But look, Eduardo, I, I don't say I attend. No, I attend. No, it's I attend. I attend. You attend. No, it, it's the ah, okay, simple wait, wait, present wait. affirmative sentences. This one? This one? No. No, no, the no. The next. Okay. Give me a second. Okay. Here's the next. Este es la que seguía, Eduardo. And this one, right? Yes. Y el, la anterior es la conversación, esta. Okay, conversation. Ah, yes. Okay. Es que aquí nos faltaron dos, dos preguntas, Eduardo, pero por el tiempo las vamos a saltar. Sí. Yes. Okay. So, uh, I repeat. We use the simple present for habits, routines, repeated events, and general truth, right? 
And the structure is subject, verb, and complement. And for third person, we have subject, verb, and complement, but we add an S to the verb, right? Agregamos una S al verbo, okay? She makes phone calls. Okay? Now, this is the general information. Look. I make, you make, we make, they make, Sylvia and Candy make, eh, Jill and Jennifer make, ¿eh? Eduardo and, and Carlos Enrique make, because this is plural, right? Okay, then, but when we use he, she, it, my friend, uh, we also say Mario, for example, right? Uh, we say Cindy. Huh? So we say makes. Make. You don't say make, you say makes phone call, right? Okay? Any questions so far? Preguntas hasta aquí? Okay, I imagine you saw this in basic one, right? Esto ya lo vieron en básico uno, pero vamos a hacer un repaso. Now, here we have some activities, right, you do in your office or in your company. Know the policies, know the regulation of the company, right? Help workers, help people, help the company, advertise the company. That means uh, publicitar la, la compañía, right? advertise, design softwares, develop softwares, answer the phone, Make phone calls. Please, repeat us to me. Please, repeat us to me. Know the policies. Know the regulations. Help workers. Help people. Help the company. Advertise the company. Design softwares, develop softwares, answer the phone, make phone calls. Good. Any question about the meaning? How do you say in Spanish? Mm -hmm. Policy. How do you say in Spanish policies? Políticas. Filosofía, philosophy of the of the company, right? Mm -hmm. Questions? Okay, please, Jorge, can you read for the class, please, all of these activities, daily routines at your work? Mr. Laines Diaz, please, can you read for the class? Present. Okay. Uh, my routine is master night, the vacations, uh, in reparation. Ah, okay, good. So those are activities you do in your job, Jorge. Nice. Excellent, right? Now, Jorge, I need you to read this, right? Yeah. Me podría leer todas estas actividades. Okay, I know you don't do all, all of these things, right? Yo, yo sé que no hace todo esto usted, Jorge, pero algunos de, de los del grupo, pues sí, ¿verdad? Lo hacen. El, okay, good. Read, please. Read, Jorge. Okay. Uh, know the policies, know the regulation, help workers, help people, help the company, advertise the company. This is the software, develop software, answer the phones, nice on cars. Excellent. Only for this, Jorge, uh, Dudley is going to give clap. Le va a aplaudir Dudley, right? Thank you. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Now let's go to the next one. You can no listen. Cristina, no me escucha. I can hear. Puedo escuchar la lluvia ahí, Christy. Yes. I understand. Here in Sacamil is also. 
lady is strong, right? Don't worry, Cristina. I understand. Now, please, listen. Write report. These are more activity, right? Estas son más actividades que hacen ustedes en su trabajo, yes? Write reports, send reports, send emails, arrange meetings, right? Lo que me decía es Saúl, que él hace, ¿verdad? Arrange meetings. O asiste a las reuniones. Carry boxes, carry products, keep track. Keep track is like um, guardar un record, llevar un registro. Keep track, right? Repair computers and ask for assistance. Ask for help, right? Good. Now, repeat us to me, please. Repetition. Repeat. Write reports. Send reports. Send emails. Arrange meetings. Carry boxes. Carry products. Means acarrear, transportar, right? Carry. Keep track. Repair computers. Ask for assistance. Okay, Enrique, please, can you read these activities for the class, Enrique? Sería José Enrique. Yes, José Enrique, yes. Only routines about the computer. Uh, read, only read, right, Enrique? You just read, solo léalas, yes. Five report, send report, send mail, arrange meetings, carry box, carry product, keep track, retain computers, ask for assistance. Okie dokie, thank you, Enrique. Class for Doodly. Uh, okay, very good. Thank you. Now, Enrique. Now, any question, class, about the meaning? Do you have questions? Remember, here you can make the question like this. Look. Teacher, how do you say carry in Spanish? For example, right? Teacher, how do you say carry in Spanish? I say, ah, llevar, transportar, acarrear, right? Carry. Or, teacher, how do you say arrange? How do you say arrange in Spanish? Arrange in Spanish is arreglar, planificar, right? Okay? So you can make questions. Listen, I will tell you this. I love questions. Me fascinan las preguntas. Así que, por favor, pueden hacerlas. Por aquí tengo una pregunta. Oh, yes. Eh, Giovanni no me escucha. Permítame, voy a chequear el volumen, Giovanni. No sé si soy yo el, o la lluvia. Déjeme chequearles un segundito el, el volumen. Sí, estoy al 100%. <ríe> Esa lluvia que está ahí en la casa de, de Giovanni está fuerte, ¿verdad? Así que lo siento. Lo siento, pero la naturaleza, pues, ni modo, ¿verdad? Ahí Moisés Urbina no nos avisó <ríe> que va a venir esta lluvia. Ok, now, uh, no questions? No questions? No. Ok, let's continue with the next one, right? Yes, teacher. Ah, yes, tell me, tell me. Ahí manden un poquito de lluvia para San Luis Tal, para que está haciendo un ah, calor fatal. sorry. <ríe> no, no, but, but, Ya va a bajar el cuarto, porque yes, estoy en Santo Tomás y están cayendo. Madrazo, como el sol, la lluvia también. Ya le va a llegar bueno, a San Luis Talpa, eso. tranquilo, tranquilo, no va a pasar el río por ahí, tenga cuidado. <risa> ok, ok, Cristi. Hey, exactly, I near to in front of the, the river. Oh, it's cool, sorry, be careful. Yes, right? <risa> yes. Ok, eh, Cristina tenía una pregunta, do you have a question? No, teacher, Jennifer. Ah, Jennifer, excuse me, Jennifer. Uh -huh. What is your question, Jennifer? How do you ask for assistance? Spanish? How, okay, I will, okay, wait, wait, wait. I will copy for you. How do you say 
how do you say um assist, right? Wait, give me, give me a second. Déjeme ver aquí. Permítame que vamos a primero vamos a la palabra. Eh, assistant, right? Okay, very good. Déjeme un segundito aquí. Okay. How do you say assistance in Spanish, right? Okay. So in this case, Jennifer, assistance is asistencia, ayuda, help. So when you need help, necesito ayuda, right? I need assistance, right? So that is the meaning of assistance. Okay. Very good. Let me see. I have an, a question here. Oh, yes, yes. Eh, por aquí me preguntan si voy a compartir la diapositiva. Sí. Todos los días les voy a mandar estas, esta presentación de PowerPoint, se la voy a mandar al grupo de WhatsApp. Ahí la van a ver. Todos los días, ¿sí? Así que tranquilitos. Esto lo pueden repasar luego en su, en su casa o el día de mañana, si tienen una hora libre ahí, ¿ok? Good. Now let's continue, right? Let's continue. Listen, please. Install programs. Sell products, right? Por ahí me decían que eh, trabajaban en Unicomer, ¿verdad? Algunos de ustedes eh, trabajan en ventas también, so sell products, vender products. Exchange information, one company to other company. Buy new merchandise, merchandise. Receive money. Those who work in, in, in a bank, right? Todos los chicos que trabajan en a bank, pues, Algunos me imagino que se encargan de recibir el billuyo, right? The money. El colecto, el colecto. Okay, very good. Now, so, uh, receive money. Decide what to buy, right? If you buy in the purchasing department, si trabaja en el departamento de compras, decide what to buy. Transport products. If you work in transportation, so transport products. Fix cars or repair cars. I was listening to Jorge, right? Says that he repairs. Uno de los trabajos que hace Jorge es reparar también. Ahí nos comentaba, right? Repair. But you can repair machines, you can repair cars, etc., etc. So repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Install programs. Sell products. Exchange information. Exchange. Buy new merchandise. Merchandise. Receive money. Decide what to buy. Transport products. Fix cars. Good. Any question? How do you say in Spanish, right? Come on. Listen, I will tell you this, class. Eh, Le voy a decir esto en confianza. Me fascina que me hagan preguntas. Yes. Me fascina, right? Hay algunos profesores que, verdad, se les, les preguntan y no, no me hagan preguntas. No, no, pero yo lo contrario. A mí me fascina que me hagan preguntas. Porque así me siento seguro que han entendido el tema, ¿verdad? Yes, así que adelante, hagan todas las preguntas que quieran. Yes? No questions? Okie dokie. So now, eh, let me see who's going to help me. Mm, eh, Eduardo, right? Eduardo, can you help me reading, please? Instal programs. Sell products, exchange information, buy new merchandise, receive, receive money, money, decide what to buy, transport products, fix cars. Excelentoso, right? Listen, receive money. Receive. Receive. Yes. Thank you, Eduardo. Claps. Do they say claps to you? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's a dinosaur. Yes, it's true. Doodle is a dinosaur, right? Look. 
I'm a dinosaur. Nice to meet you. Bye bye. Nice to. Nice to <laughs> This is the doodly, right? He's my 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 assistant. <laughs> my assistant, right? My assistant. Okay, class. No questions. Good. Now look at this. No question. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Now uh, here we have some expression to describe the simple present, right? For example, I say. I check my email every day. I type a letter once a day. They write a report twice, twice a week. She attends meetings three times a month. He calls clients on Wednesdays. You read a report once a day. He visits clients once a month. Uh, my boss organizes meetings every Monday, right? And finally, my coworker answers the phone every day. Okay, aquí tengo una pregunta. Uh, y casi no he escuchado por la lluvia. Cristi, bueno, lo siento, Cristi. Uh, Cristina, una opción es eh, que me repase el... Esta presentación, como les dije anteriormente, les voy a, se la voy a mandar a, al grupo de WhatsApp y puede repasarla en casita, Cristi. ¿Ok? Además de eso, este video se está grabando, ¿verdad? Y se va a subir eh, a la plataforma. Por lo tanto, eh, pueden chequearla, pueden chequear la, la, este video en, en, la, en la plataforma. Así que... Lo siento, Cristi, que esté lloviendo fuerte en su casa, pero ni modo, ¿verdad? Ya, ya va a pasar. Espero que ya pase, nos pueda escuchar. Manden un poquito. <ríe> Todavía no ha llegado a San Luis Talpa. Ah, o es Rosario de la Paja, ¿verdad? Okay. San Luis. San Luis Talpa. Ah, ok, San Luis Talpa. Yes, San Luis. La, the beach. Next to the beach. <ríe> ok, let's continue, right? No questions. Okay, now it's time to practice. Yeah, right? Okay, let's copy here. Who's next? Enrique Eduardo Alejandro. Alejandro, it's your turn. So, look at this, Alejandro. The verb, the action is arrive. But, because it's third person singular, we say arrive or arrives. Alejandro, can you copy? No, no, no me copia, Alejandro. Hello, hello. 10-4, 10-4, Alejandro, Alejandro. No, ok. No, no, right. Ah, por ahí está Alejandro. Alejandro. No. Hello, Alejandro, welcome. Now listen, I need you help me please to write this. Uh, he arrived or he arrives? Sorry, sorry. Uh, can you repeat please? Ok, the question is, He arrive or he arrives? Arrives. Arrives with S. Very good. Arrive. Permítame, le voy a mandar un mensaje a Cristi porque creo que no me ha copiado. Vamos a ver, Andrés, Cristi, los. Ah, ok. Sí, lo, los. Ah, miren, el tipo de, de, de headphones, right? que compren es muy significativo. Eh, por ejemplo, aquí veo a Eduardo, que tiene unos, unos auriculares muy buenos, ¿verdad, Eduardo? Um, vamos sí, a ver. Vale cinco pesos. Oh, excelente. Sí, muy bueno. Lo es... veo más caro. <risa> no, no, pero, pero ahí en, en, en el Dollar City parece que hay algunos baratos, ¿sí? Uh, a mí me queda cerca las pulgas, el mercado de las pulgas, ¿sí? Yo me compré este, ¿verdad? Hace bastante tiempo, así que si pueden comprarse uno de estos sería magnífico para que no, la lluvia no les moleste, ¿verdad? Porque ya de, de mayo en adelante ya va a haber lluvia todos los días, así que, ¿verdad? Una sugerencia para Cristi, así que, please. Estos me costaron 17 dólares hace como unos dos años. Todavía están buenos. <risa> y escucho muy bien, ¿verdad? Y... y... Tengo el micrófono acá para que ustedes me escuchen también. Así que es de hacer una inversión para escuchar bien, ¿verdad? Ok, good. 
Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Alejandro, now please. Mario, can you help me, Mario? The next one, please. The next exercise. Number two. Open. Um, he? He opens. he opens. Very good. He opens the store. Thank you, Mario. Thank you very much. Now, number three. Let me see. After Mario, Andres, please. Can you help me, Andres? He? Hello, okay, Andres. Uh, he start or he starts? He starts. Okay, he starts. Comienza a trabajar, right? He starts working at 8 o'clock, 8 a.m. Good. Number four, right? Number four. Ah, oh, here I have a question. Permítame, tengo un mensaje. Eh, sí, bueno, está ahí diciendo Cristi que, que va a intentar conseguir unos. Sí, ¿verdad? Porque, bueno, la lluvia. O a veces el internet, ¿no? Ah, por ejemplo, en el caso de Mario, ¿verdad? Este, ahí veo que, que tiene problemas de energía a veces. No falla lo, la energía o, o el internet o hay lluvia, pues. Entonces es necesario comprar unos buenos auriculares. ¿Venden de estos ahí en, en Dollar City? Yes. yes. Así que no es que yo no trabajo para Dollar City. <ríe> Solo es una sugerencia. <ríe> ok. Now, after... Uh, uh, yes. Estoy haciendo la publicidad para no, no, City, no, no, que... no, 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 no. <risa> no. Ok, Andrés, and, ya me participo. Se llama Andrés. publicidad encubierta. Oh, eh, no. <risa> ok, Andrés, please help me. Number four, Andrés. Perdón, ya, ya participé. En... Ah, ok, good. Ah, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Andrés. Ok, Víctor, Víctor, help me, Víctor. ¿Qué? Yeah. Checks. He checks. Very good. He checks. Next one. Number five. Good. Um, after Victor, I have Carlos Enrique, please. Carlos Enrique. I have. He has. He has. Very good. For a moment, uh, en Carlos Enrique, I saw you. No, for the for a moment I thought you would say he has, but no, right? Has. No have it. has. He has. Because it's third person singular, right? He has. Thank you, Carlo Enrique. Good. You see? Now let's go to the next one. This is the activity that a person does every day, right? Estas son las actividades que una persona hace todos los días. This is some activities. Okay, now, Cindy, please, can you help me with number six, Cindy? Sense. Sense. Okie dokie. Sense. Okay, very good. Voy a apagar los micrófonos unos segunditos. Porque yo escucho música de cuna, ¿verdad? Seguro un bebé está durmiendo ahí. <laughs> ok, very good. Let's continue with number seven. Number seven, right? Eh, Cristina, please. Uh, ¿Nos escucha ahora, Cristina? Cristi. 10-4, 10-4, Cristi, Cristi. Do you copy, do you copy? Bueno, entonces, eh, Joshua, can you help me, Joshua? Number seven. He closes the store at 5 p.m. Okie dokie, closes, right? Thank you, thank you yes. very much. Very good. It's perfect. And number eight, come, right? Uh, Esau, please. He comes home at 6 o'clock p.m. He comes home, right? at six right because later 
cacerolazo, right? <laughs> if he comes later, so you have to be early at home, right? If not, say, don't test to reach huh? Okay. <laughs> Good. Let's go to the next one, right? Let's go to the next one. Uh, number nine. Number nine, right? Uh, who's next? Uh, I have a song. Jill, please. Can you help me, Jill? He? Okay. He has. Okay. He has. He has. Uh, dinner at eight o'clock. Congratulations! Yes. Listen, you can mm -hmm. say you have dinner, you have breakfast, you have lunch, or you eat breakfast, you eat lunch. Or you eat dinner, but never say I take. In English, it's incorrect to say I take breakfast. Es algo así como yo agarré el, los huevitos y los frijolitos, <laughs> lo, lo apreté. You know? I take. So don't say I take. No, no. Say I have or I eat, right? Okay, let me see if I have another one. Number 10. Okay, good. This is the last one. After Jill, we have uh, Giovanni, please. Can you help me, Giovanni? He? Giovanni, copying? I think it's there. Uh -huh, okay, please. He, he go, go or he, uh -huh, he goes, right? He goes. There she goes. At 9 p.m. Okie dokie. Thank you very much. Right, class? Any question? Do you understand? Again, look. Subject, he, there, arrives, and complement at the company at 7. He, subject, opens the store before breakfast. He starts working at that day. Look, this is a sequence. 7 a.m., 8 a.m., 10 a.m., 12 p.m., 4 p.m., etc., etc., right? Okay. If no questions, I have... Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Give me a second. Um... Good, that's it, right? Now we have another exercise. Exercise, right? Look, this is a conversation. What's your name? My name is Antonio. Where do you live? I live in Santo Tomas. Ah, no, no, Santo no, 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 no. I live in Rome. And what language do you speak? I speak Italian. Tell me, what do you do every day? I eat Italian food, I sing Italian songs, and I watch Italian TV shows, right? Good. Now, repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. What's your name? My name is Antonio. Where do you live? I live in Rome. What language do you speak? Language? What language do you speak? I speak Italian. Tell me, what do you do every day? I eat Italian food. I sing Italian songs. And I watch Italian TV shows. Why Italian TV show? Because it's, he, uh, Antonio lives in, in, in Rome, right? In, in the capital city of Italy, right? Okay? Good. Now we're going to practice. Look, what's your name? My name is Antonio. Where do you live? I live in Rome. What language do you speak? I speak Italian. Italian, right? Do you like Italian? It's a good language. Uh, for example, I can say, uh, la ragazza mangiare la pizza, la, raga la ragazza mangiare il gelato, e mangiare le, le, la pasta en la, en la fermata de la termini. 
o en la fermata de la, de la Fontana de la Trevi, o de la Piacha de la Novona. <laughs> okay, Italian, you know, Italian. Good. And uh, what do you do every day? Um, I eat Italian food, like pizza, you know, lasagna, pasta. I sing Italian songs, lo, lo, lo. And I watch Italian TV show, right? Now, we're going to practice. Let me see. Uh, we're working with Jill, Giovanna, now Beatriz, please. Beatriz and Jennifer again, right? Together again. Otra vez les tocó juntas, ¿verdad? Beatriz y Jennifer. Okay. Beatriz, listen. You are going to be letter A. You are going to be letter A, right? And you My make it. Is oh, wait, 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 wait. Give me a second. But you're not going to say, what's your name? My name is Antonio. You're going to say, my name is Carmen. Okay? Substitution. Don't say Antonio. Say Carmen. Okay? Que todavía anda buscando la cadenita, pero ahí está. Carmen, right? Uh, my name is Carmen. Where do you live? I live in Madrid. Okay? A la Madrid, right? Por cierto, yo no le voy al Madrid, le voy al Barça, pero hay que reconocer que está jugando bien el Madrid. Okay, then I live in Madrid. What language do you speak? Ah, uh, I speak Spanish. Spanish, right? Tell me, what do you do every day? I eat Spanish food. Ah, uh, okay, Eduardo is Barcelonista, I see, right? <laughs> okay, very good, Eduardo. Nice. I sing Italian songs. And I watch TV shows, right? I mean, Spanish TV shows, Spanish TV shows, okay? Do you understand? So we're going to do something better. Uh, Jennifer, Jennifer Guadalupe, you are letter A. You make the question, right? And uh, Beatriz, you make the answer, right? And we are going to work, not with Antonio, no, no, Antonio, no. We're going to work with Carmen, right? Ready? One, two, three, action. What's your name? My name is Carmen. Uh, what do you like? I live in Madrid. I live in Rome. No, 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 no. What language? Jennifer, what language do you speak? Okay. What language do you speak? I speak Spanish. Tell me, what do you every day? I eat Spanish food, I sing Spanish songs, and I watch Spanish TV shows. Correct. Nice. Congratulations, Beatriz. You're good. You're good. And thank, thank you. you, Jennifer. Thank you. Clap to you again, right? Saludos. Ahí de doble. Okay, thank you. Now, next couple, next couple, we're going to make another conversation. Let me see. Okay, again, right? What's your name? My name is Antonio. Where do you live? I live in Rome. What language? Italian. What do you do? So, but in this case, we're not going to see Carmen. We're going to see KG. Ohio Cosimos. Eduardo San, Ohio Cosimos. Jennifer Beatriz San. Oh, I was Simon. Okay. It's Japanese, right? So we have Kenji. And the capital city of Japan is Tokyo. Tokyo. It's a big city, right? In, in Japan. Now, um, Jorge, please. You are going to be letter A. And Enrique, you are going to be letter B, right? But don't say, what's your name? My name is Antonio. No, no, no. What's your name? My name is Kenji, right? Understand? Okay. There you go. One, two, three, action. What do you do tonight? My name is Jose. Where did you like? No, no, wait, wait. My name is Kenji. 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 Ah, okay. 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 My name is Kenji. Where did you like? I live in Japan. 
eh, in Tokyo. In Tokyo. In Tokyo. Uh -huh. Yes. Jorge. What language? What language do you speak? What language do you speak? I speak Japan. Japanese. Mm. Japanese. Tell, tell me what do you like every day? I eat. Uh, Uh, Japanese, uh, Japanese. I eat Japanese food. Mm. I sing Japanese songs mm -hmm. and I watch Japanese TV show. Okay, very good. So Japanese, you know the 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 China, yeah. the soap opera, right? La, China. La novela China China. China. <laughs> yeah. No, China no. China is the big country, right? The continent. En Japón es un island. Japón es una isla. Estoy right? pensando, pensando en decir eso. Ajá. Eso me tiene confundido. No es chinito. No, no, no. No, Jorge. No, no chinito, no. Japanese, right? Los chinitos son de China. Yeah, y en El Salvador oh, tenemos yeah, chinos de, de, lo, en, en El Salvador tenemos chinos, pero de Chinameca, right? Yes. Ok, let's continue, okay, right? Yes. <laughs> let's continue with the last one, right? What's your name? My name is Antonio. Where do you live? I live in Rome. So we have this question. What language do you speak? And what do you do every day, right? So the next conversation is going to be uh, Alejandro. Wait a minute. Jorge, Enrique. No, okay. Eduardo and Alejandro, right? Uh, Alejandro, you make the questions. And uh, Eduardo, you make the answer. But in this case, Uh, my name is Antonio. No, my name is Nicole. Where do you live? I live in, in, in Paris. Le Magoncheux parle le français. Beaucoup parle français, monsieur. <laughs> okay. Paris, right? Ready? Okay. Alejandro, right. the questions. Alejandro, the questions. Letter A, right? And Eduardo, letter B. One, okay. two, three, action. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's your name? My name is Nicole. Okay. Where do you live? I live in French, in Paris. Paris. Okay. What language do you speak? I speak French. Tell me, what do you do every day? I eat French food. I sing French songs and I watch French TV shows. French TV show, right? Nice. Okay. Okay, well, thank you very much. Oh, oh wait a minute, right? Uh, Dooley again is clapping, is saying congratulations to you, right? <laughs> thank you. Thank you. He's doodle, right? Yeah. Enthusiasta doodle. Okay, very good. Now, uh, before we finish, we're going to check the platform. Uh, le voy a enseñar la plataforma, right? And what are we going to do, right? Como vamos a trabajar en la plataforma, okay? This is my, my, my platform, right? Aquí tengo yo mi plataforma, right? And we have four units or section, right? Eh, la plataforma está compuesta de... Bueno, el menú es acá, el curso, el progreso, eh, sus notas. Esto es mío, ¿verdad? El instructor. Aquí yo tengo acceso a sus notas. Cuando ustedes estén trabajando, pues yo voy a ver sus notas y su asistencia también, ¿ok? Uh, luego acá tenemos en la sección 1 o unidad 1, right? Ahí está abriendo, yes. Good. Y tenemos acá la tarea 1, dice. No, perdón, esta sí es la tarea 1. Ok. El día de mañana. Permítame, aquí está la videoconferencia 1, esta es. El día de mañana, aquí les va a aparecer una un video. ¿Y cuál video les va a aparecer? 
esta clase que hemos tenido, que se está grabando, se las van a subir ahí, en ese, en ese sitio, ¿sí? Así que ustedes van a ir repasando. Aquí está un video de, de ejemplo, de modelo, ¿verdad? Pero mañana, aquí en la unidad 1, les va a aparecer, bueno, aquí no se ve, pero les va a aparecer un video, un video, que es esta clase, repito, esta clase. Entonces, ustedes, por medio de su correo, ¿verdad? Le, ahí les da el link y ustedes acceden a, a la plataforma y ahí pueden ir viendo. Y aquí está la tarea 1. Miren, esta es la que tienen que hacer esta noche. Si no pueden hacerla esta noche, mañana. Dice, tarea 1. Instruction. Multiple choice. Quiere decir que hay varias opciones. Select the correct form of the, of the verb. It says, I taking a shower in the morning take a shower and I take a shower. ¿Cuál sería la respuesta correcta? Option two. No me, no me vayan a contestar porque es una pregunta retórica. Take sí. a shower. No. Take a shower. No, 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 no sabemos. Nadie sabe la respuesta. ¿Ok? Cuando ya ustedes hayan terminado la clase, entonces ahí solitos ya van a... No me estén pasando la copia, por favor, ¿verdad? Y... Imagínense que están ahí en la, en, en la escuela pasando los papelitos, ahí la copia. No, 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 no. Aquí no, por favor. <ríe> ok, so you choose taking a shower, take a shower, o takes a shower. ¿Cuál de estas tres ahí ustedes van a decidir? Ok. Eh, déjenme decirles que esta plataforma es amigable y uh, ustedes se pueden equivocar y después corregir, así que no hay problema. La cosa es sacarse un 10. No vayan a pasar 80%, no, no, 100% quiero yo todo, ¿ok? My boss, my boss, ¿qué? Send, sending o sends. Igual, aquí es una respuesta. Five questions, right? Tenemos cinco preguntas, ¿sí? ¿Ok? Entonces, el día de mañana, aquí vamos a tener la clase también, ¿no? subida, la clase número dos. Y aquí es la tarea 2, miren. Igual, ve. Solo tomo una opción. Tomo una, un baño. Cada minuto. No, no creo que nadie se bañe. Bueno, con este calor tal vez va, pero. Ok. Every day. Eh, todos los días. O two times a year. Dos veces al año. <ríe> ok. No Existen personas. <risa> ok. Bueno, ahí en, en San Luis Talpa no les ha llegado el agua, así que no sé si, ¿verdad? Por eso están pidiendo el agua ahí. Ok. Then, my partners have a party. Every monthly, each month, o monthly. Mensualmente. Ok. ¿Cuál de esta es la opción? Y luego, para el día viernes tenemos esta otra opción. Aquí va a aparecer el video. ¿Ok? Y aquí está la, la tarea. Perdón, perdón. Aquí está. How many and how much? ¿Cuándo usamos how much? ¿Cuándo usamos how many? ¿Ok? Y aquí podemos ponerle un cheque, ¿sí? Muy bien. Pregunta. ¿Se pueden adelantar? Sí, se pueden adelantar. Uh, teacher, fíjese que a mí me gusta trabajar en la plataforma y yo ya terminé la sección 1. ¿Puedo pasar a la sección 2? Sí puede pasar a la sección 2, no hay problema. ¿Y a la 3? Vamos a la sección 1, pero ¿puedo hacer la 3? Sí. Bueno, puede hacer todas las actividades que usted quiere. Pero lo recomendable es que si yo estoy explicando, por ejemplo, uh, aquí el presente continuo, por ejemplo, pues es obvio que, o cómo usar los imperativos, ¿va? yo doy la clase, la practicamos y todo, y usted dice, ah, pero yo quiero, yo quiero um, adelantarme, bueno, pero todavía no va a haber escuchado la explicación y le va a costar más hacerlo, ¿verdad? Así que lo recomendable es hacerla todos los días, ¿verdad? Pero la, la plataforma es suya, pueden usarla como quieran, y ahí se pueden mover dentro de la plataforma. Muy bien, eh, aquí está el manual, miren. I'm sorry. Le damos clic acá. Y ahí aquí les va a aparecer, ¿ven? Ahí está descargándose el manual. 
lo pueden bajar y lo pueden imprimir si ustedes quieren, ¿verdad? Es todo suyo. Aquí está, ¿ven? Muy bien, vamos a ver cuatro unidades. Aquí está. Unidad 1, World Term, World Related Events. Evento, event, evento relacionado con el trabajo. Ongoing activities at the workplace. Actividades que hacemos en el trabajo. Number 3, Schedule Events. Eventos eh, planificados, ¿no? Con horario. Y por último, Tech Support. Ayuda técnica, tecnológica. ¿Sí? Esas son las cuatro unidades que vamos a ver. Good. Muy bien, mañana les sigo explicando. Uh, de momento, si hay alguna pregunta, una duda, ¿verdad? O quieren hacerme otra pregunta después, pues ahí vamos a estarnos comunicando con el WhatsApp. No les prometo contestarle inmediatamente porque también trabajo en otro lugar, pero media vez yo tenga el tiempo libre, con gusto les voy a responder las preguntas en WhatsApp. ¿Ok? Good. Any question? Thank you, teacher. Ok. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Eh, yo solo quizás comentar, le voy a escribir mañana al WhatsApp, porque sí, sí. no sé si pueda conectarme mañana. Ah, ok, vaya, pero con Debido los permisos. Debido a que te, tengo eh, prácticamente asesoría sobre una clase y justo el licenciado dijo que de ocho, y me, de ocho a, a nueve y media. De ocho a nueve y media. No sí. sí, bueno, déjeme hablar con el licenciado y lo vamos a regañar que no me ande programando actividades no, en vale, mi clase. No, vale. <risa> ok. Vale. No hay problema. Eh, si usted termina antes, pues conéctese, aunque sea una media hora, porque recuérdese que, que el, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Le van contando los minutos de asistencia, ¿verdad? Entonces, si usted falla, sí, pues, eh, ahí, si usted se conecta, por ejemplo, cinco minutos a la clase, pues, ahí le va a aparecer, ¿verdad? El, como el Zoom. Ah, okay. le, le da, entonces, a medio termina ahí la clase, ¿verdad? O si usted quiere, se escapa una media hora antes ahí y se conecta con nosotros, ¿le parece? Perfecto, gracias. Vale, está bien, yo voy a estar ahí pendiente. Bueno, Ay, eh, excelente. Uh, ¿alguna otra pregunta, chicos? Hoy pueden hacer todas las preguntas en español, ya mañana solo en inglés. No question, teacher. No question, good, good. Voy a pasar la asistencia rápido y... Quisiera saber si Cindy se quiere quedar conmigo esta noche, porque eh, después de Carlos Josué, que no estuvo presente ahora, eh, Cindy seguiría en la lista. Cindy, me copia. Ok. No, no hay problema. Okay. Vale. Entonces, no, vamos a quedar diez minutos más, ¿ok? Good. So, okay. atenta. Vamos a pasar la asistencia. Cindy. Present. Ok, good. Ahí espéreme, Cindy. Eh, Cristina. Pobre Cristina, esa lluvia no la dejó escuchar, ¿verdad? Sorry. ¿Y Joshua? Good night. Good night, you. Good night. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Eh, Esaú. Good night, teacher. Good night. Edwin Obaldo. Elizabeth del Carmen. Jill. Good night. Ok, good night. God bless you. Giovanni. Thank you. Good night. Eh, Beatriz. Good night. Good night. God bless you. Bye bye. Eh, Jennifer. Good night, teacher. Good night, Jorge. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Bye bye. Take care, Enrique. Good night, teacher. Good night, Eduardo. Good night, teacher. Good night. God bless you. Alejandro. Good night, teacher. Good night, God bless you. Manuel Eduardo. Mario. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye bye. See you tomorrow, Mario. Andrés. Good night, teacher. Good night, God bless you. Oscar Daniel. Victor. Good night, teacher. Good night, God bless you. Wilfredo en Carlos Enrique. Good night, guys. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye, bye, bye. God bless you. God bless you. Right? See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Uh, ok. Uh, Víctor, Eduardo y Jorge, si gustan, pueden des desconectarse. Vamos a quedar con, con Cindy. Ok, Cindy. Hello. 
How are you, Cindy? Oh. Fine. Let me see. Cindy, Hello. you work in um Sipsa, right? Yes? Okay. Right. Excellent. Yes. What is what is your occupation, sí. Sipsa? You are a secretary, you are an assistant. Sí, are... Secretary. secretary. Oh. Excellent. You you answer the phone, right? Hello, Tipsa, can I help you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. Uh, Cindy, hey. do you have a question about the, the class? ¿Tiene alguna pregunta? De la, de, eh, no. De simple, ¿No? Uh, este tema no, lo, por el momento todo. ¿Ya lo había visto usted antes este tema, Cindy? Eh, más o menos lo vimos en el módulo anterior. En el módulo anterior, ¿verdad? Pero es sencillo. So, only the subject, the verb, and the sí. complement. ¿eh? No hay para dónde. Lo que, sí, lo que sí cuesta es y le agregando la S al, 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 al verbo cuando es tercera persona. Sí, de hecho, sí. Acabo de hacer, sí, de hecho acabo de hacer la, la tarea ahí en okay. la plataforma de... ¿ves? Uh -huh. En la única que tenía duda es donde decía este takes a shower. Ajá, ¿y cuál era el sujeto? Es, yo, le, yo le había puesto takes el sujeto in takes hay hay ajá y cuál era y la respuesta ahí, correcta cuál era la respuesta correcta take a shower ah okay si quiere lo pero vemos si... Ajá, si quiere pero lo vemos si... veámoslo si quiere bueno le voy a compartir la, la plataforma permita uh -huh. aquí no hay miserias aquí vamos al curso bueno alcanza a ver mi pantalla Cindy Sí. Sí, sí, va. ahí estamos en, en el internet, ¿verdad? En el yes. curso, muy bien. Y aquí está la primera tarea. Permítame. No, aquí está, tarea uno, ¿verdad? Sí. Va, es, ahí me dice la, en la que la que tuvo alguna duda, porque yo veo que ya lo hizo, ¿verdad? Pero. Sí. Number, number one, ok. Sí. Yes, number two. Eh, allí eh, le ah. había puesto sense, sense con ese al final. Ajá. Ajá. Tendría que haberle salido bueno porque esa es la respuesta. Pero me había salido mal, entonces le, no sé si le... Ah, bueno, no, esa, esa sí está correcta, sense. Sense, esa sí está bien. Sí, la tercera es donde dice my co-workers. Co-workers, como es plural, co-workers es... Ah, ¿verdad? Ah, ah yo le había, ajá, a mí me había salido mala porque le puse has. Ok, no, 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 no. Coworkers, va, es así de sencillo, sino, mire, cuando es singular, <risa> le agrega la S. Y cuando es plural, no se le agrega la S. ¿sí? Ah, ok. Así de sencillo. Okay. Usted no se complica la vida, diga, ah, este es singular, pero <risa> pongámosle la S. Este es plural, no se la pongamos, ¿verdad? Ok, hoy sí, sí. Ok, good. No hay otro. Aquí hasta el 5 llega, ¿verdad? Ok, good. ¿Alguna otra duda, Cindy? No, solamente. Muy bien. Ahí está Firulais, ¿verdad? Aquí tengo mi Firulais también. Sí. Ya va a salir por ahí. Sí. ¿Cómo se llama el tuyo, Cindy? Eh, aquí son cinco. Oh, son what? tres hembras y dos varones. You have a big family, eh? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Yo tengo uno nada más, se llama Polar, Polar. Polar is my dog, right? Es un maltés, todo colocho ahí. <laughs> okay, good. Aquí eh, son mitados. Ah, okay. Yes, and, and you, do you know the name? Sí. <laughs> ¿Se pueden los nombres o, o sus niñas le han le he puesto nombre ahí a todo ello? Eh, mi mamá más que todo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ella es la que sufre con ella, me imagino. Sí. Okay. I imagine, sí. I imagine, Cindy. Ok. ¿Y qué le pareció la clase, Cindy? Dice que está bien, excelente, porque se le, le comprende. Se okay. le comprende. Y de hecho le entendí, eh, digamos, en la lectura. Cosa que en el módulo anterior me costó un poquito. Ah, ya ve que vamos mejorando, ¿ya? Es buena señal, es buena señal. Sí. Cindy, ese sí, es lo señal. que cuesta es la pronunciación. 
pronunciación. Bueno, a mí me cuesta más la pronunciación. Bueno, mire, usted tiene una gran ventaja porque tiene unas princesas ahí. Entonces, haga una cosa, mire. Eh, tiene internet. Bueno, sí, obvio, está hablando conmigo, tiene internet, es obvio. Entonces, eh, ponga películas de muñequitos en inglés. ¿Sí? Okay. Va, pero mire, que no me vayan a escuchar ellas, pero usted dígale que solo en inglés están. Si la piden en español, usted diga, no, no. Solo en inglés, oiga. Oiga. No nos están oyendo, no están oyendo, menos mal. Okay. Sí, ahí está una. Ay, dígale que no guarde el secreto, que no guarde el secreto. Vaya, pero la otra princesa, usted diga, no, solo está en inglés, dígale. Solo en inglés lo vamos a ver, ¿ok? Sí. Ya, o sea, la sirenita, Pinocho, Shrek, Toy Story, Kung Fu Panda, y todas las películas que pueda, pues, las pone en inglés. Si usted Sí. quiere ir entendiendo más, puede ponerle el subtítulo, pero en inglés, no en español, ¿lo oiga. Sí. ¿Tiene alguna aplicación como Netflix, HBO, Disney? El next one. Netflix, oh, excuse me. <ríe> Muy bien, ahí tiene para practicar. Sí. Mire, ahí está la, la, la opción de que usted lo puede escuchar en inglés. Ya la hizo, ¿verdad? Entonces, para la pronunciación, haga lo siguiente, ¿no? Vea la película, no voy a pronunciarla toda la película, <risa> sino que cuando, Sí. cuando aparezcan los subtítulos, usted vaya pronunciando algunas palabritas, ¿sí? Las que, y, Okay. y no lo haga en la mente, hágalo oralmente, o sea, que, que, que se le oiga, ¿sí? Sí. Porque en la mente uno puede decirlo más rápido, pero ya decirlo es un poquito más complicado, ¿verdad? Sí. Pasarlo a la voz, así que puede hacer eso, esa es mi recomendación. Además de eso, Okay. yo siempre recomiendo la música, que escuchen una canción semanal por lo menos, si no es que más, ¿verdad? Mhm. Mm Así que eh, sí. este jueves, les voy a, mañana, mañana es jueves, ¿verdad? Eh, les Sí. voy a enviar una, una canción para que la practiquen, en inglés obviamente, así que, ¿verdad? Okay. Cindy, ¿alguna otra Está pregunta bien. antes de terminar? No, solamente. Oh, no. Excelente. So, have a good night. Cuídeme los cinco firulais ahí. ¿verdad? Me queda la Bueno, de comer. Me sí. quedan las princesas. Dos princesas son, ¿verdad? Eh, una es mi hija y la otra es mi sobrina. Ah, oh, ok. Solo una es la suya. Bueno, igual ahí están Sí. las dos aprendiendo inglés. Ah, hello. Sí. Pero aquí, aquí Hola. está Dudley. Hello. Se va, se va a despedir de usted Dudley, mire. Goodbye, goodbye. Take care. Take care. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, bye bye. See you tomorrow, Cindy. Bueno, hasta mañana.